Okay, I'll, I'll put it like this. Um, back in the day, before we had the urban music come out of Zimbabwe, people were basically um, doing hip hop, R&B, house music, all the life thing. And then came about the urban music. Um, I'll say the urban side helped a lot of what the Zimbabwean local artists are doing right now because in terms of content, we had um, more on radio, TV compared to the uh, previous years before. So um, the transition of that for me has been, um, it's, it's, it's a growing thing right now. Hi, I'm N. Ko, a director and an animator here in Arari. What you're watching is 263 Urban a documentary on the evolution of Zimbabwean urban music, where it came from and where it's going. So we start our journey here with Pastor G. Now Pastor G is a veteran here in the Zimbabwean music scene. He's also one of Zimbabwe's leading gospel musicians. He's the best place to start. That is, and I'll define what urban contemporary music is. Uh, it's a fusion of R&B, hip hop, jazz, uh, you know, quiet to house, uh, encompassing all those genres, yeah. and. Uh, you know, some people call it urban grooves, but I prefer what urban contemporary, because urban grooves is limiting. Yeah, um, Fortune really was the godfather of that. We should give him that credit. Yeah, but before Fortune, there was a guy called the people like uh, Alex G, Alex Go, I teach my Taz, who released um, a song called Heartbreaker. I, I, I don't remember who produced it, but it was way back in the day when people were listening to Wet My Whistle by, by Whispers. I remember that year very, very clearly. I was a, I was a young person, I think 1984, uh, the time when the movie Breakdance came out, you know, and we had Grandmaster Flash and all those people. But Fortune kind of like came, came onto the scene around 89, 90 with Kanamatombo, Kanamatombo, you know. That song kind of like defined urban music. Then he, then he started honing his production skills to become, if not the best producer, urban producer that Zimbabwe has ever produced was Fortune Paruta. So we've got a bit of a picture now. We've got an overall idea of you know the the origins of urban music but i wanted to hear another perspective so i spoke to metaphysics metaphysics is arguably the best zimbabwean rapper our best export this guy has done it all believe me when i tell you there was already cats spitting in shauna before this had a name before before any of this before i even had a group called piece of ebony one of the first rappers i heard on radio 3 this is close to independence was a rapper spitting in Sean. I've tried to look for him uh, because he should be credited actually as the forefather of, of urban Zimbabwean music. So afterwards I went to Rocky. Rocky was called the king of urban grooves. He sheds light into what he saw as he was coming up. Um, you see the urban groove thing or local music uh, for a long time did not have anyone wanting to claim it as their own. There would be people whose names and brands they would associate with local music, Fortune Pirates for one, who was the producer of a lot of this music and the talent scout for a lot of this, but he was a person as well and you know, um, he died or he had to move on to other things to do with his life even before his death and he was not concentrating on that market as much but his contribution can't go without being seen. Um, the era of um, Chuoniso, um, Chuoniso Mateo, Albert Nyati, Prudence, Katomeni, uh, 90s, uh, uh, Impressions of Africa sort of era, era you know, with, with uh, Willem Tide and them. Um, for us was what made it normal being a Zimbabwean urbanite who was also a star to the people in some sort. It was, it, 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 cause before that, from what I hear, <laughs> these people were walking into a place where urban music was not considered at all. They were, the, the big companies weren't producing it. Uh, people who sang it weren't getting much respect and such, you know, but 
we walked into a place where it was so normal being a <laughs> a, a singer, a star. So that's a little preview of 263 Urban. Be sure to check out nafuna.tv for updates of the documentary. Follow us on Twitter at Nafuna TV. Like our page on Facebook, facebook.com slash nafuna tv. Send an email to info at nafuna.tv.